Wake Up With Al is straight ahead. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Friday edition of Wake Up With Al. I'm Al Roker at the Lowe's Miami Beach. Well, here in South Florida, a lot of extreme weather happens. Great place to test products before you buy them. Dave Malkoff lets us in on the secret testing lab. The Florida sun, high noon. In the summer months, the sun comes almost directly overhead. It actually burns brighter than just about anywhere else in the continental U.S. Uh, well, this is considered a subtropical climate. This field in Homestead, Florida, is literally the front line between you and the weather. These colored blocks are chunks of car doors and building walls. That's what they're normally made out of, is this material. It's Michael McCrudson's job to weather test the things we buy. But what you can see here is the UV has caused uh, the flaking. It's very much like sunburn. That's one paint that won't make it to market. Manufacturers trust the people here at QLab with their secrets. We saw pearlescent coatings way before they were out on cars, two or three years ahead of when they're actually on the vehicle. They lay out window blinds, car dashes, artificial soccer turf to see if it will last through years of Florida storms and tropical sunshine. We use this area under here like a before and after, yeah, yeah. I understand why auto manufacturers and home builders would need to do this kind of environmental testing. What about the companies that don't even cross your mind? We just did a test for, for chewing gum. So here's a, a paving stone. For a few months last year, Mike hired professional gum chewers. Well, they were called the standard masticators. I don't know whether we can say that on TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. but... <laughs> now, while you might like gum. They did all the chewing first, okay. then all the sticking, and then all the walking. Trust me, your mayor. <laughs> Who wants to walk through the gum? Hates the uh, stuff. Leaves behind a, a nasty stain that takes years to degrade. Some chemical reaction no one quite understands yet happens when you mix gum Gum plus weather plus sidewalk. So it's become the responsibility of the chewing gum manufacturers to develop a non-staining chewing gum. That's a future product they're developing here, stain-free, weatherproof chewing gum. It's a, a major problem in, in big cities. Now with all the surface testing going on, thousands of these panels a day, there's got to be something Michael knows the rest of us do not. Uh, the, the two main things I do now with my car is I don't wash it. He says the water causes problems and the dirt layer is actually the best auto sunscreen we've got. It's dry and dirty. In Homestead, Florida. Dry and dirty. Dave Malkoff. It's good to know, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Weather Channel. All right, if we've learned nothing else today, dry and dirty. Okay, we are going to be checking in with Tom Nizzle. He's got the latest on Q and what happens when it gets to the eastern seaboard. Details coming up on Wake Up With Al.